Welcome back to Fulio. I feel guided to talk a little bit about um, some food stuff. Can't get enough of that food stuff. Some people spell that with a W, by the way. I didn't want them to think I was copying them or something, so. Don't forget, I live near Roswell, New Mexico. <laughs> so anyway, um, I, I wanna talk about some food stuff tonight. Um, specifically, uh, coming into some gifts that I've discovered that I have and I, like psychic mediumship is a gift, I believe. Um, like I, I've, I have some spirit guides now and they're in some other realm that I don't really understand. They've given me unmistakable uh, communications and signs and symbols in the world and numbers and stuff. All of that sometimes, though, makes me think that maybe I'm just, maybe that those are signs of being in a simulation, too. I will talk about um, simulation theory and the matrix and stuff on my channel because I think it's part of what we're figuring out about our world. Um, right now, people are talking about ascension, and part of that seems to be... Um, Inheriting your gifts. Um, a cousin of mine gave me this book, and you know, I. <laughs> this is a fascinating book. It, it talks a lot about this kind, this kind of subject matter, and this this occult stuff that's that everyone is so interested in these days. The witchcraft and the, um, you know, the spell work that all these channels are talking about that do tarot card reading. Um, this is not something new, people. This has been going on in this country for a long, long time. And it came over here from, you know, other parts of the world where it was in operation even longer, um, like Egypt, you know, places like that. Today's Independence Day, by the way. It's interesting that I picked this out today to, to, to talk about. But I do think this, there's been something sweeping the country that has to do with this stuff. And I do believe that there's people that are doing spell work on other people. I really do believe it. And I say that because I believe it's happened to me. I have felt the effects of it. I had people messing with me. I was, had people messing with me. My And then interesting things began to happen. You know, I had these, these really interesting um, encounters with my spirit guides that I didn't understand that that was happening at first. Like, for example, my grandmother, when she, after she died, my parents gave me a manuscript that she wrote. It was for a book and she had written and rewritten it and been shopping it around, trying to get a publisher for it and couldn't get one. And it's just this manuscript and it's a story. And um, so I decided that I would get it out and look at it a few months ago. And the, at the copy shop, there was a picture above the copy machine that suddenly I looked up and saw this picture and I freaked out because it, I felt my grandmother was there with me all of a sudden. It was a picture, a photograph in this horrible desert town that has no culture or anything. All of a sudden, I'm staring at a picture, photograph of a famous Michelangelo uh, sculpture that's at the Vatican. It's called the Pieta. Okay. It's, it's the Mary holding the Christ, the dying Christ in her arms. And my grandmother always wanted us to go to the Vatican. We did in 1980. And we saw that. I've seen that sculpture in person. She talked about it to me. Um, you know, my grandmother was a, she was a, a Christian and an active, this, Eastern star. I didn't know until I was in my fifties. Um, so I'm directly connected to this kind of stuff. And I think the more people understand this, the better.
because these people have come up underneath everybody else. And they've been running everything, you know, with crime and stuff. I wanted to talk more about um, my own experience. So, so that was my first encounter with my grandmother in the copy shop of all the places. Then she started coming to me more and more. And then she told me that she was murdered. Anyway, I've, I've figured out that these people, these ghosts, that psychic mediums are sensitive to their presence and so forth, they all have bones to pick. They're still floating around because they have unfinished business. And they were trying, they were all trying to tell me, somebody in the family killed me and nobody knows. Can you do something about it? Maybe this is why people were trying to kill me. Some people probably always knew that I'd, that I'd find out what they did, you know. So most of my spirit guides are murder victims. It's really bizarre. I have other spirit guides. One of them's very famous. Very. He was murdered. And many of these people were murdered for their money. Some were murdered for an insurance policy. Anyway, so you get the idea. You start meeting these people. You start finding out what their beef is. They've got unfinished business here. And you find out who killed who. And you find out all these things you didn't want to know. Well, not really talk to them. It's more like get downloads from them. You be sitting there in meditation. All of a sudden, you start thinking about them. You think about... You think something about them, and then, they're, and then you realize they're there with you. Uh, this crowd keeps getting added to, too. <laughs> this is what they mean when they talk about, you know, people sending demons after you. They might just be people that are tapping you on the shoulder, you know. Hey, 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 trying to wake you up, you know. <laughs> I think that's kind of what happened to me. Hey, 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 hey. I had a lot of people tap me on the shoulder from the astral realm or wherever they reside. I'm not sure. Some other dimension. I don't know. Outside the game space. <laughs> so anyway, this is what people mean when they say, you know, they sent a demon after you, and, but the demons are your friends now. They're your friends. Yeah, that's because they got through to you and they, and they told you and you did something about it. Like I've been doing things about it, okay? I, for years, my family had the wool pulled over my eyes and all of a sudden I started dropping little strategic bombs here and there and triggered them into blurting things and giving themselves away all over the place. These are masons trying to kill each other. They, I'll tell you how they get the money. They, give, they have these charitable institutions. They give to them. They have these events and stuff, these big, you know, children's hospitals or whatever, stuff like that. And they get a lot of money raked in. And then they, you know, they, they, they give the institution part of it, but only a small part. A huge chunk of it goes to their slush fund or trust funds or whatever. And then they fucking kill each other to get those fortunes that are squirreled away here and there. Every once in a while a trust fund comes to maturity and everybody fights over it or whatever. I started feeling the effects of the witchcraft and I started realizing the magnitude of it, the magnitude of it. And I wanna say that I believe there are people using supercomputers to send out spell work 24 seven onto everybody. Like there's something like that going on. I really do believe so believe so. These are three signs. If you feel these effects in your life, manipulation, intimidation, domination. These are three signs of witchcraft going on around you in your environment. I found this to be very, I really resonate with this. And I found this on this person's, uh, I looked this person up on YouTube and just look into this. 
This guy is kind of like an exorcist, okay? And I do believe we're having problems with, um, oh, here I wrote on the back of this, Satan's kingdom is built using these dynamics and kept in place. I've told you before, I'm in a principality of darkness, or I was. I don't know if it is still. Maybe it's not. I may have moved up a, a level and can't see that shit anymore. But when I was in there, that's when I, when I was being gang stalked and all that. Okay. And abused and stuck in a trap house for three and a half years with an ex who was ugh, horrible. Totally. People are possessed. I've seen it. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've seen the way they look. After they're victims of this, my mother is one. She looks like a skeleton with skin stretched over it with warts all over her. I kid, I'm being totally honest. I swear to God, this is the God's honest truth right now, okay? I was going to do an oracle card from this sweetest little deck here. Look at this. It's called the Animal Wisdom Cards for Spirit Connection. I got this at, on Etsy. Um, I like to show you which decks I'm using because I want the artists to get, make more money and, and have, you know, be, I want them to make money. I don't get paid for this, though. This is not a paid promotion. For tonight, for Independence Day 2022, we seem to be ascending. See, you can't see this, but I, I put my wings on the, on the eye, on the all-seeing eye. I put my wings on there. It's a wonderful life. I'm just gonna pull one out because they're not coming. The loon, <laughs> the loon, we got the loon. Okay, what does it say? Your haunting song rises from deep waters where you dive far and long, calling up intense power from the darkness, almost never touching ground. Know what's happening below in the unconscious realm to avoid being surprised by it. Explore your dreams. Your power is to access the underwater dream realm in an instant, fully lucid and with barely a ripple, to snatch slippery secrets and rise up with answers. Okay, so we're talking about occult stuff. We're talking about shadow work, witchcraft, you know. We got the loon card. Oh my God, loon, loon, looney tunes, lunatics. Lunatics, that word root is, it has to do with the moon. And the moon always has to do with crazy things and witchcraft and so forth and so on. So we've got the loon here. We should leave the loon out. Let's put the loon here. There we go. You're a lunar module. What's on the bottom? The eagle, the eagle's on the bottom. Cool, the eagle's on the bottom. Cool. So the eagle's out too. All right, now we go, let's go. What about witchcraft in America? What is going on? We've got waiting. We've got priest. We've got widower, you know, but I'm gonna generalize it to be a reading for the country, okay, about the shit we're going through with witchcraft and all this. Um, they've kept everyone waiting forever and ever with their spell work. They kept us all in a trance or tried to kill us, okay? Right? They keep you going round and round and round in those repeating cycles. You can't fucking go forward and they, so they can hang on to the game, the world, whatever the hell it is, Right? God, editing's a bitch. I, I, I went way over time, and then I had to take like six minutes off, and it's hours later. It's hours and hours later. <laughs> and we're supposed to get fireworks, but now we're going to have a monsoon tonight. It's raining. Anyway, happy Independence Day, all you witches and warlocks out there. Just a quickie addendum to this. Um, I think I edited out the part of it where I talked about I beg your pardon, I never promised you a rose garden. 
but since, since uh, I made the video, I, get, I had a visit. I think that artist is one of my spirit guides too. I love you, Lynn. I have the song linked at the end of the video. I, I mean, uh, in the description box below. Please, please uh, click the link to hear the music of Lynn Anderson.